Hey, this is Coach Pomai. Welcome to Ice Mental Game Training Podcast number 31, Train Smarter in Practice for Guaranteed Improvement. In this podcast, you will learn specific tips on how you can improve your skating skills by making a few changes in your practice habits. Many skaters already work hard. A few adjustments can help them to work smarter and reap more benefit from their work. These tips will work with any skills you would like to improve quickly, from moves in the field to jumps and competition programs. Here is the question that inspired this article. It comes from a skater's parent. Do you have any podcasts or articles that could help me with moves in the field tests? My daughter struggles with moves tests. She just tried intermediate moves for the second time and didn't pass. She is very dedicated and worked so hard. In the U.S., skaters must take and pass a series of field move tests in order to advance to the next competitive free skate level. My tips for preparing these skating for these skating tests is similar to the way I teach skaters to practice efficiently with all their skills. Tip number one, repetition. Repetition is key when practicing for a moves test or a competition program. There is a physiological response to every repetition of of a movement that we make that causes neural pathways to form and strengthen. In order to perform under pressure, you must be able to skate your skills automatically. Smooth and accurate execution of a pattern happens after you have repeated it enough to be coded in your motor memory. This allows you to do them with your eyes closed or what we call automatic. Tip number two, mindful practice. Many skaters feel that endless repetition of drills and exercises are boring. A skater can waste time doing repetitions over and over without paying attention to the details. Remember motor memory? The best way to strengthen the movement pattern in your memory is to fire the circuit, do the movement, fix any mistakes, and fire it again. You want to send precise signals through your circuit to build accurate, strong, fast, and more fluid movements. Tip number three, simplify. Break it down, then build it back up. If you have trouble spots, practice them in isolation until they have improved, then build the pattern back up. Here is one way you can practice if you want to improve your mastery over a moves pattern before a test. Take each pattern and run it three to five times with focus on different aspects. The first time through, focus on your technique. Slow it down for accuracy. Tweak any mistakes, and then, the next time through, run it at regular speed. The third time through, focus on flow, speed, and power. Continue to build. The fourth time through, focus on artistry. Lines, heads up, posture, arm positions, body language, and expression. If you have limited time, you can practice one to two patterns a day this way and rotate through all of them during the week. In the meantime, continue to do all of the patterns every day with mindfulness and make sure you repeat them two to three times. These same steps can help you to improve your program segment practice. Tip number four, preparing for the test and testing. Eli Manning, quarterback of two Super Bowl championship teams, was once asked, is handling pressure in your genes? Manning replied, no. It's because I practice the play thousands of times in all different scenarios. In pressure situations, I never think of failing. I think of all the past times I have succeeded. When you are ready to increase the pressure, create mock test situations. Skate in your test outfit just like you would for a competitive exhibition or simulation. All of your repetitions will pay off. You will be able to execute your patterns without thinking. Number five, tips for test day. Focus on what you can control. You can control your attention, your focus, and how you skate. What the judges are doing, how they score you, the outcome of the test is not under your control. No amount of worry or speculation will change that. Just save your energy. While the judges are writing, stay focused on yourself and what your next task is. It's tempting to allow your mind to travel to what is happening on the other side of the boards. Why are they taking so long? Oh, what if I blew it and I have to take the test again? Stay in the moment. Once you finish the pattern, remove it from your awareness. If you make a mistake or were wobbly on something, flush it down the toilet. Worrying or stressing about the past will not help you to execute the next pattern. Think of yourself as a horse with blinders looking at a conveyor belt right in front of you. 
what's in front of you right now is the only thing you focus on, whether it's a pattern or an in-between breather time. While you are waiting for the signal to start your next pattern, keep your focus on yourself. Think of this as preparation or a breather time rather than waiting for the judges to score me time. Tip number six, keep your mind on the right stuff. If you have failed the test in the past, take an honest look at where you are at this point in time since that day. If you have practiced and worked to address your weaknesses, then you are a better skater than you were. Remember, the purpose of a test is to show you the skills you need to improve to be a better skater. If you passed without mastering skills needed at that level, you would be at a disadvantage at future levels and in your ultimate goal to skate at the elite level because your skills are not solid. Failure is your friend. It is a strong mentor. Failure is a powerful learning tool that will show you how to get it right. When you get it right, you will remember how to do it right more strongly than if you had never failed in the first place. Failure is a shortcut to intense and strong learning. It is a part of skating. It is essential in the life of every successful champion and world-class human being on the planet. So embrace failure, learn from it and move forward knowing that failure has got your back. It won't let you stay stuck as long as you pay attention to its lessons. When you understand that failure can lead you to even stronger skills, you can put aside your worry about being perfect. With that release of tension, you will allow yourself to skate better. To build a strong mental game, you need to eliminate your stinking thinking and think only in ways that help you succeed. You need to do this consistently every day on and off the ice. Over time, this mindset will become the only way you think. Start changing your mind now. Download Confidence Mythbusters, a complimentary ebook from the link in the description box below for a jump start. Thanks for listening. Hey, please do me a favor. Share this if you find it helpful and don't forget to subscribe. If you want to learn more, you can find us at icementalgame.com or like our Facebook page at Ice Mental Game. This is Coach Pomai reminding you that it takes mindfulness to reach excellence. Until next time, aloha and happy skating.